one is for Commissioner Bernhardt, and I was just wondering if you could speak about the proposed East-West Highway, what your feelings are for it, and also if you think it would create jobs and bring industry to the state. That's a good question. Um, yes, I, I do believe um, it, it would bring jobs. Uh, I, I think it, it's something that's been talked about for a long time. Um, we do not have good east-west connection. If you look at a map, and you look at Maine, and you look at Canada, how it surrounds us, and just the movement of traffic, just take that line off. And that's, that's, the, way the, the, that's the way the country's going, that's the way the world is going. We need to think globally, and if we continue to have that border, um, we won't be able to compete. And this is just a way to knock down the border so we can compete. Basically all we're doing um, for the East-West Highway is doing just a feasibility study. And in this feasibility study, what we would do is to find out if somebody on Wall Street would be willing to put some money up. Because we're talking about a private road, privately funded, which is something different than we've ever done before. Um, because the fact of the matter is that the state of Maine, we would not be able to afford um, a road of that magnitude. We're talking um, over a billion dollars. We only have about a $550 million uh, a year. And that basically, that money is to, just to fund and maintain the system that we have. I, I, would, I would just like to add to that that we have met with uh, both the Premier in New Brunswick and in uh, Quebec and they also have a great interest in seeing Maine put an East-West Highway because all, it would save, let's say from Montreal to St. John and back or Moncton to Sherbrooke for instance would be a one day trip rather than a day and a half trip and a layover so there's tremendous efficiencies for the Canadian side as well because you don't have to go up over Maine, you can go right straight across. And it's a major, major advantage. So we continue to work on it. And, and I think the commission is absolutely correct. It's been looked at as a, as a private road, but I will tell you this, that the federal government is now looking at it and have noticed that we're, we're looking at doing that. And I'm not saying they have any money because they, they have less money than we do. But at least as an interest in looking at us. So someday, if they, if we ever have any money in the bank, they might join in. One thing I'd just like to add, uh, in, in something that um, has been left out. Yes, this would be a uh, a major highway. But one thing, if, if you look at the map, it, it does circumvent or it crosses major freight rails, and so there's many opportunities out there to move freight across hit these big, um, what we call multimodal facilities, um, where we can then um, load trains and send them um, south or even north. So there, there's a lot of opportunities if you, if you look at the map and, and you bring an east-west highway across, where it will cross um, you know, two or three freight lines. There's just a lot of things that we'll be able to do. Thank you.